Hey everybody, Fixin' to Scratch here. I've been wanting to do this video forever. I get asked a lot of questions. One of the questions I get asked is, how do you play scratch-offs and how can I increase my odds of winning? First, let me give a quick disclaimer. All the information I'm going to provide to you today is from my own personal experience and the information that I gather from the game analytics from the Texas Lottery website. One of the first questions I get asked is, how do you buy lottery scratch-off and which ticket do you buy? When you walk into a store, there's usually, if you go to a, a typical store like a Valero or a Shell station, there is multiple bins with lottery tickets in them, and there's a number on each bin corresponding to the ticket that you'd like to purchase. If you go to a 7-Eleven, they're usually under the glass by the front counter, but every ticket will have a number associated with it. Now, one rookie mistake, right, Demir, is when somebody comes in and it says, I want two low threes and a cash blast. So he can't see them on the backside. What he wants you to say is, I want two number 15s and one number 10. That way you can get the right quantity and the right ticket. Now, once you've bought your ticket, you scratch it off. If it's a winning ticket, let me give you some examples of some winning tickets. So here I saved some of my better wins. So here's an example of a recent ticket that I purchased, and this is a symbols match game. It's not a numbers match game, but a symbols match game. It was binoculars for an auto win, or if you get this little tin symbol, it's a win all, and I'll explain what that is later. But say you get a binocular win, and you're lucky enough to win $100 on the ticket. Well, what you'll do is you'll scratch off the bottom, which contains a barcode. Now, what you'll do, as long as the win is under $599 or less, you can take it to the clerk and they'll cash it for you. If it's five, if it's $600 or more, then you have to go to the lottery claim office or mail it in to get paid. Now, sometimes you might run into a circumstance where the store does not have enough money to pay you. That does happen. If you go early to a smaller store, they may not have $100 to give to you because they don't have the cash yet. So you can either go to a different store or come back later that day and normally they can pay you. Now, let me give you some examples of certain types of tickets. So this is a symbol win ticket. Now, this is just a numbers match game. Basically, it was a matching 20 and a 20 single match for $100. And that's just you match the winning number to your number and you win. This one, you'll see sometimes you'll hear something called multipliers. And this is how many times the prize is multiplied. So like on this ticket, this was a $50 winner because everything was multiplied times two. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This ticket was also a simple win and it means it wins five times. So five times 20, it was a $100 winner. And then this is what you'd call is a win all. When all your numbers match all the numbers down here, that's a win all. Sometimes there's a symbol called a win all and that means you just win every prize listed on the ticket. In this case, it was a $500 winner. Now, one thing I'll mention, not all stores will give you back the ticket. 7-Eleven, you'll never get a ticket back. If you'd like to keep your ticket as a memento, make sure before you cash it in that the store will give it back to you. Because once it's scanned and cashed, nobody else can cash it in. So you can keep that ticket, but some stores are particular, like they like to have a record of the tickets that they've cashed out and they will not give them back. Now, if you're lucky enough to win a prize of $599 more, that's considered a claim ticket and you get to go to the lottery claim office. We recently got to do that. Uh, we hit a claim ticket. We had a $100 times 10, which is $1,000. These tickets you cannot keep. You have to sign the back of them, give them to the claim office and they'll give you a check for $1,000. All right, so that's how you play lottery scratch-offs. Now, which tickets do you play? Now, tickets are divided up by denomination. There's usually one, two, three, five, 10, 20, sometimes 30, and $50 tickets. Now, normally, smaller denomination tickets, like one and $2 tickets, have worse odds and lower prizes than higher denomination tickets. It's all about risk and reward. To give you an example, I've got a $1 ticket and a $50 ticket. So here's a $1 Lucky Eights ticket and the top prize is $1,000. The odds of winning on this ticket are one in 4.91 or about one in every five. Now here's a $50 ticket with a top prize of almost $5 million and the odds of winning on it are one in 3.38. All right, now the question you've all been waiting for, what are odds and which ticket do I play? Well, most state lottery websites will give you game analytics or they'll give you a complete breakdown of the price structure and the odds for each prize amount. All right, so let's take this particular ticket, for example, the $500 million cash ticket. This is my very favorite $20 ticket, has the best odds of winning, and it also has the best price structure, in my opinion. I've got a deck of cards, and I'm gonna demonstrate probability distribution here in a minute. Now, each state's website normally has a game analytics, which will give you price structure, breakdown, and odds. 
All right, so let's pull up the screen and take an example of the game analytics for the $500 million cash ticket. Now, here you can see the prize amounts and the odds for winning each prize. So you've got a 20, it's 1 in 5.56. You've got 25, 1 in 12.5. Well, what does that mean? I, I really get this question asked quite a bit because I'll have, I was standing in line. Actually, what spurred me to do this video is standing in line with a gentleman that was buying a ticket. He saw the odds on a $5 ticket, 1 in 3.97. He bought a ticket and he goes, well, I just need to buy three more tickets and I'm guaranteed to win. I said, that's not how it works. All right, so how does it work? When a ticket says 1 in 2.76, that means the overall odds of winning a prize, not break even, are 1 in 2.76. It doesn't mean that every third ticket in a row wins. It also doesn't mean that in a random sampling of three tickets, one will definitely be a winner. It's the overall odds based on sales, distribution, and number of prizes claimed. Now, if you noticed in the game analytics, and I'll pull it up here real quick, that each ticket, and for at least for the state of Texas, has a guaranteed minimum payback per pack. And for this particular ticket, it's $190. So if you buy a whole pack of tickets, the minimum that you're going to get back is $190. Now, one thing you'll notice that there are 25 tickets per pack, which means that each pack would cost $500. If you spent $500 and bought a whole pack of tickets, you're guaranteed to win at least $190 back. Now, for each denomination, the number of tickets per pack differs. For a $50 ticket, there's 20 tickets in a pack. For a $10 ticket, there are 50. In a $5 ticket, there are 75. In a $2 ticket, there's 125. And in a $1 ticket, there's 150. All right, so let's go back to the odds. Now, the reason I like this ticket is because you're almost guaranteed almost all the time that in a pack of tickets or one out of every 25 tickets in that pack, there's going to be at least a $100 winner. So odds are one in 24.17 that you're going to find a $100 winner. Now, if you look at the other prize amounts, uh, odds of hitting $20 or 1 in 5.56, odds of hitting 25 or 1 in 12.5, odds of hitting 30 or 1 in 25. And it's actually harder to win $50 on this ticket. It's 1 in 50 or one $50 winner for every two packs. So what I think is confusing is that when you say the overall odds are 1 in 2.76, and then you see the approximate odds for each individual prize amount, they look very confusing. So I've got a deck of cards to maybe explain this a little better. All right, so now it's time to talk about probability distribution. And this is where my deck of cards comes in handy. Probability distribution is just the probabilities of occurrence of different possible outcomes. Some people feel that certain numbers are lucky or if there's a nice big white line, it's lucky, but it really is based on randomness because there is scratch off tickets are sold with guaranteed number of winners and losers in each pack. And they're basically spread throughout the pack randomly like a deck of cards. All right, so let's quickly take a look at the $500 million cash price structure because based on this information, we can determine the number of prizes and how many per pack on average. Now, there are outliers. Anything outlier is considered a high tier price level, like $1,000 or more. Those are just thrown in at random. You can never guarantee those. But remember, it's a numbers game. The more tickets we play, the more chances we have of winning a higher prize amount. All right, now the fun part, we get to play with our playing cards and understand probability distribution and how the prizes are spread throughout a pack. And that's why I don't recommend chasing on a ticket unless you know you started on number one and you know the how many prizes are left in a pack, you can lose a lot of money chasing on a ticket if you've started halfway through. So what I've done is I've, these are blank playing cards. And so what I've done, I've taken 25 of these cards, labeled them 20 to represent 25, $500 million cash tickets. And then based on the odds, we know that there are typically one $100 winner in a pack. There is one $30 winner in a pack, one $25 winner in a pack. And if you're lucky, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is going to be a good pack of tickets. And that's it. Now we're not going to worry about number sequence, one through 25, because when you look at prizes, they don't care about number sequence. So here's our tickets, here's our wins, and the rest of them will be zero. These are our losing tickets. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to randomly shuffle the prizes throughout the pack, and that's exactly what happens. That's why you get back-to-back -back winners, back-to-back-to-back -back winners, or you can have 10 losers in a row. All right, so, this is how I recommend playing. Because we know there is one $100 winner in a pack, once you find that $100 winner, this pack is dead. 
You would not want to play it anymore because the best chance you have may be winning a $30 ticket, but you might play four or five to get a $30 win, and we don't want to do that. So that's how you cut down on the risk when you play these big dollar tickets. So let's take a quick look. So let's say this is ticket number one. Let's see how we would do. We're scratching off ticket number one. We hit zero. Ticket number two, zero. Ticket number three, zero for one hundred dollars so we hit it on the fourth ticket in which means the rest of this ticket is dead so if you were chasing on a ticket and you were starting off on ticket number one and you found that hundred dollar winner on ticket number four you'd want to stop playing that pack you wouldn't want to play it anymore that's why i don't recommend chasing because if you come halfway through the pack this one's already gone you don't have a chance of winning anything good unless you happen to get that outlier big huge prize but remember it's all about risk reward and the number of tickets that you play the more tickets you play the more chances you have of winning a higher prize amount but let's just for fun let's continue on to see what the rest of the tickets would have been like so this is a really good example of why you don't chase and once you find the biggest prize in the pack the pack is dead you don't want to play it anymore so when you're buying tickets at random that's why i say go buy one or two tickets if you win great but don't go back to that same pack i love to go to different random stores to buy random tickets because i think that increases my odds so that was on ticket number four we won 100 bucks let's see what we've done on ticket number five nothing on five six nothing seven nothing eight nothing nine we finally hit 20 bucks 10 nothing, 11 we hit 20, 12 nothing, 13 there's the 25, 14 there's back to back winners, 15 0, 16 we hit 20, where's that 30? 17 0, 18 there's 20, 19 0, 20 is 20, 21, where's the 30? 22, 23, ticket number 23, my lucky number, finally you hit 30. 24 25 last ticket was a win well guys i hope that helped understand probability distribution and how winners are dispersed throughout a pack you know me personally i like to play tickets that have a good payback per pack and also a good high dollar amount prize per each pack so if i'm playing a five dollar ticket i want to make sure that ticket at least has one fifty dollar winner in it if i'm playing a twenty dollar ticket i would like to make sure that at least one ticket in that pack is a hundred dollars well with that being said we still got a lottery ticket to scratch off i almost forgot we have the 500 million dollar cash ticket it is ticket number 14 Let's see if we can't be lucky and find a win on this ticket. This is just a match your number to the winning number. If you get that star symbol, it's five times the prize. The bell symbol is ten times the prize. All right, let's see what we got. 30, 12, 10, 18, got a 20, 46, 45, 19, 50, 29, you got a 37, 35, 47, 17, 34, 33, 27, 26, so close. You got a 23, my lucky number. Hey, you got a win on my lucky number too. Well, we did close out this video with a win. That is awesome. And I'm a lucky number two. Well, I can't beat that. I can find one more match, but I doubt it. 25 and 39. All right, just matching 23s. Let's see what we have under the 23. We have got, hey, $25. dollars got a $5 profit on it. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, the next time you buy your next lottery ticket, don't rely on the back of your ticket for information regarding odds as these are just overall odds. Just like you would read a review before going to see a movie, make sure you review the real odds on your state lottery's website before buying your next ticket. Hope this video helped. The next time you're standing in front of all those tickets that you'll make a great selection and hopefully find that big winner. If you all have any questions, comment below. And if you'd like what you see, then click that subscribe button and notification bell below so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Y'all have a great lucky rest of your day and we'll talk to you later.